This tutorial shows how to work with a multi-schema flat file in Talent Open Studio. There's a number of MS components or multi-schema components. I'm working with MS Delimited today. And this example is going to process a text file of office supplies. There is a repeating group called invoice that contains line items. And the structure of the file is such that an invoice is followed by its line items and then breaks as the next invoice is presented. I'm going to process this file by producing a flat list of line items that includes the invoice ID. And I'm also going to do a lookup on the way to swap out this category code of OF and TC for something more readable. With this T file input MS Delimited, I've got a file that I've selected already. That's the Office Supplies file. I'm going to select the correct encoding. Uh, my file separator was a comma. And I can do a preview. And what this preview tells me is it's looking at the file and you can see the different shape of the records. The invoice records, they have two columns. And the line item records, they have five. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to do something called fetch codes and fetch codes is going to display the two record types here. Now both these record types are presented um, equally. What I'm going to do is additionally mark up some of these columns so it's easier for us to see what's going on. And the line item, I'm going to give this a cat code. OK. So I've got the columns that were imported. I've named a few of them for readability. Now what I do with the record schema is I establish a hierarchical relationship between invoice and line item. And I do that by pressing this right button. So now what you see is a sixth column has been added. And this sixth column is my business key for invoice. I'll go ahead and make that a true value here. And so in line item, this is going to be the, the repeating of that invoice ID. And that's going to be important. If the target were a relational database, then I would be um, using that as a, a lookup value or something to get a surrogate key. And when I run this, I'm going to use uh, row B row B will include the invoice number. Row A is just the invoice record and it doesn't have the line item number. Now both of these can be routed to two sources. So this multi-schema can be something that splits your data input into two flows. Go into row B and running. And what you see is a flat list of line items and the invoice ID is tacked on the end. Now notice that the invoice ID plus the line item ID, that can give me enough, uh, a strong enough key to uniquely identify each of these records. I'm going to go one extra step here and I'm going to do a lookup along the way. Um, on some of the blog comments, I've noticed um, people asking about like an Oracle decode statement. And if you don't want to have a, um, if you don't want to use a lookup table or a spreadsheet, you can use a T fixed flow input to build up a map. Now this is still in the code, but it's a little better than being hard coded because it's, it's very convenient to edit this inline table. And the way I use that fixed flow input is I'm going to use a T map and that's going to be something that I join on. And so in the T map, I'll take all my fields here. I'll also take the value here and I'm going to join key up with cat code. And I'll press OK. And now when I run that into the T log row, you'll see that my data is supplemented with a lookup value. And you see office supplies is here for the OFs and technologies here for the TC. 
So the multi-scheme is a convenient way of handling some of those files that have a mixed bag of records in them. The structure that I used was fairly simple. There were invoices and line items, but you can nest it a little bit deeper than that.